The way I figure it, if you're starting a first generation farm, there's basically three types of farms that you could choose to be. Oh, hi, what you doing? No, don't go eat my fingers off. All right, so three farms, like I said. First one I'd start off with is your hobby farm. That's, you come out, you take all farm inputs, all farm income, and that's what you're using. You're just throwing that at your farm because you're not looking for anything more than that. You're just having fun with it. It's, again, a hobby. It's something you enjoy doing. Keep a few animals and do whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. I understand folks whose heart is there. Uh, it's a hard thing to do. Eh, no, it ain't. Dude, if that if that's what you want to do, and that's your hobby. I mean, look, some folks play video games, some folks keep horses. So, but that's how I would separate it. I'd say that first level right there, it's a hobby farm. And you just got to figure out and know that that's what I'm going to do. This is a hobby. I don't expect it to generate income. I don't even necessarily expect it to break even. It just is what it is. So, that's that first level. That's, you know, hobby farm. Level two on sort of the hierarchy that we're talking about is the idea of a homestead. In a homestead, not only do you have this farm that you're pouring all your love and attention into, but you're generating some form of revenue and not income. And I want to be clear about that. You know, again, this is arbitrary. This is my thoughts, but I think it's a sound way of doing it the more I've thought about it. And it's this idea that on a homestead, you are generating revenue. You are having your hobby farm pay for itself. And so whether that's through the sale of wool, through selling piglets, maybe it's just doing farm tours and farm exposure, selling meat. There's a whole just cornucopia of things that you can be doing. What's up, bud? Lands. They can't see you, huh? What about that? Ah, don't bite me. That's not nice. Oh. Pigs. I had to leave the boys. They were tired of me being in there with them. I was tired of getting nibbled. But anyway, a couple of mangalites. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with them. All right, so that first category, you got the hobby farm. Second one, you're rolling in there, and you got the daggum homestead. You're breaking even. The next one is the big one. It's where you get excited. It's where you start saying, holy crap, I have a farm. And that's step three, is the farm. And to be a farm, you have to generate income. It's that simple. You have to generate income. You have to go beyond revenue. You have to go beyond just breaking even with your property, with your critters, or whatever it is that you're selling and you're doing. And you have to be generating income. And that's a farm. I don't care if it's $5. I don't care if it's $5 million. All it is is saying, look, I've moved past just having a hobby. I've moved past a hobby that, you know what, even even pays for itself. Other than the time I've got nothing invested. No, you go beyond what you're investing. You go beyond what you're generating in any sort of revenue into actually generating income. Once you have that income, you've got a farm. Now, it's an actual business. And you've got to figure out how you're going to keep up the momentum. How that business is going to grow. I will say, like, yeah, it would be great if we could all just have our little hobby farms or even break even and, you know, just everybody had their homesteads. And that, that would be great. It would take any sort of the, oh, the other initiatives, the other issues off the table. But that's not the world we live in. And you have to decide, are you cool staying in a hobby farm? Are you cool staying in a homestead? Again, there's nothing wrong with that. By all means, go ahead and do that. But if you want to have a farm, you are going to own a business. You have to figure out your profit, your loss. You got to figure out what's a good investment and what's not. And if you're not thinking about this like a business, you're not going to keep your farm. It's that simple. All right. Take it easy. Build that farm, y'all.